dismay. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. As you can see, the pastors and ministers of the Norwalk Association of Evangelicals and the Interdenominational Ministers Fellowship of Norwalk and Vicinity, along with our mayor and chief of police and even other town guests, are here today as we begin to move the healing process and reconciliation for the good of humanity, our city, state, and nation. We agree to reiterate our typical stand of Christian practices in great relations and recognizing the need for greater understanding of the plight of people of color within our community. We covenant together to directly provide a Christian response to problems and issues of social justice within our communities and any other practices that deny the humanity and the respectability of any person, especially people of color, in the sight of God. We hereby covenant to bring people of different racial backgrounds together to engage in the uncomfortable conversation regarding race and racial inequalities. We embody the principle of mercy and justice to become more tolerant and supportive of all people. We affirm that all people are of one blood and that any discrimination based upon race, creed, or nationality is not in keeping with the Christian perfection and life, and furthermore, that racial discrimination in any form is an insult to God and offense to human dignity. Therefore, we hereby make a conscious and deliberate covenant to celebrate the Creator's diversity as uniquely invalid in all people, including those of color. Welcome, and let us have a conversation with our God. Chief Kaholic, and my fellow clergy members, brothers and sisters. On May 25th, we were all grieved by George Floyd's murder. It sent shockwaves throughout our country and the world, and it has created a moment in history where healing and reconciliation must be pursued. As a pastor of Word of Life Bible Church, and knowing the power of church unity, I picked up the phone and contacted my brother here, Reverend Clark and asked if our two groups, the Noah Association of Evangelicals and the Interdenominational Ministers Fellowship could meet and begin a difficult dialogue on healing from racism. They were uncomfortable at times, but they were very necessary. And as a result, we have begun discussions for a covenant between our two groups to work together to bring awareness of the inequities that many people of color face in our society and what we can do to bring equality and healing to all. This clergy prayer walk is a first step. In a Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said this, that we, the church, are the healers. We are the peacemakers. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. And we are not to hide under a bushel, but we're to get out and make change with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe that it is the love of God that compels us today to stand together and walk and pray for our beloved city. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to ask the mayor of our wonderful city and the chief to say a few words, and then I'll be back with some uh, housekeeping rules. <laughs> This group here is a powerful group of unity, solidarity, prayer, and when you march today and when you pray, 
we know that wonderful, wonderful things can happen. Yes. So I want to thank Pastor Kasimis, uh, uh, Reverend Clark. Thank you for organizing this. Thank you to all the reverends who come out. And I really want to thank the chaplains group from out of state. We love your uniforms. Now I've been asked if, if our reverends are going to give uniforms. It probably just cost me a few dollars, but we'll work on that. But thank you so much for being here. You know, this is a time when healing is absolutely needed. People are confused, people are upset, people are disenfranchised, all people. We want to make sure that we bring our country and the world back together, and it can start right here. Amen. So thank you all, God bless you all, and God bless this amazing, amazing nation that we so proudly call the United States of America. Amen. Thank you. I always have to follow the mayor, which is a very difficult task. He's a better speaker than I am. But well, I pay your salary, so you can. <laughs> what I first want to start out with, I just want to thank our amazing uh, chaplains, not just today, but they're here with us day in and day out. They ride with our officers. They counsel our officers. They offer peer support to our officers. They do a lot for us. So, thank again, thank you. I know Carlton's not here today, but he's the other uh, one of our uh, chaplain so really appreciate everything you do for us on a day-to-day -day basis so thank you and as the mayor said you know we've worked hard and i've been the chief for eight years now wow and, be, and prior to that you know the mayor was the chief and working under him we worked very hard to try to build relationships and make things better but here we are and i guess we haven't done a good enough job and i think it's because we can't do it alone and as the mayor said we need prayer. We need God to come in and help us get to the, get to the yes. other side. Yes. Now, I'm a very religious person, a Roman Catholic, and I believe that, and I think that through what we do here and the prayers that you all share, not just today, but when you go home, I know every night I pray for the city, I pray for my officers, Amen. and I think it does have, a, it does have an impact. Absolutely. It does. Yeah. So, again, I want to thank everyone for coming out today and for the walk in the heat. And I hope Pastor Artie takes the jacket off because it's warm today. And I thank you for, for coming from around the state and from Brooklyn, I think someone said they're from, and New York, the Bronx, Manhattan, Long Island. Thank you. So hopefully you brought water. Have a cool walk. My officers are going to accompany you to help you get across the streets and make sure that everything runs smoothly. Amen. So again, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here's how we're going to run the, uh, the prayer walk. Uh, we're going to start here. We're going to offer prayers at five different spots. The first one will take place right here, and there'll be two members uh, that will pray. And from then, we'll walk down this side. We'll stay on the sidewalk. Walk down this side of Main Street. When we hit MLK Boulevard, it'll be another stop. We'll pray there. The officers will help us cross every single street. We'll go over towards the mall, cross by O'Neill's. Walk down to the mall, pray again at another spot. Walk down West Avenue, and then up Mill to Mill Hill, town, the Old Town Hall, pray there. And then finally, we'll make our way to City Hall. It's about how many miles? Two miles? About two miles. Everybody got your iPhone watch, right? You'll check how many steps you do. So uh, that's how we'll do it. We have assigned certain the spots with certain people to pray. But along the way, we encourage spontaneous singing, praise, worship, prayer along the way. Please feel free to worship God and pray over our city, sing over our city, and be a blessing to this city because we love it very much. And again, we thank you for also loving our city the way we do. I also want to recognize that we achieved success here. Thank you. You want to say a word? Yeah. <laughs> they said it all. They said it all. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for coming, and I'm going to we'll start the first set of prayers. <laughs> Let us pray. Father in heaven, 